Hey everybody, I'm Nick with Drain My Lawn, and today we're going to talk about why we don't recommend using PVC for drain systems. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with PVC. This is a this is Schedule 40. This is the big stuff. Um, we actually this is left over from a project where I had a customer that insisted on it, and we'll do it if customer insisted on it, as long as we uh, we make sure that they understand um, what our concerns are uh, and what we've observed in the field. So um, we'll go ahead and start with the biggest downfall of, uh, for quality of the system for, for PVC is its brittle nature. It's very, very strong. This stuff is heavy. I mean, this, this little piece of pipe right here probably weighs five pounds and maybe a little less, but um, it, the, it, it's very, very strong, very uh, resistant to crushing. Um, to abrasive and all kinds of stuff and it also flows very very well it's completely smooth on the inside you probably see here the problem is is that in a, in a long run system and especially a system with a lot of variables in it um, and over settling over time if you're gonna have traffic and uh, just the longevity of a system like that is that you're gonna have uh, uh, pressure points as this ground as the ground settles you have a fitting I'll show you that in another clip here you have a fitting that goes on here and is if you have a hundred foot run of this stuff what will happen is it can move and that'll eventually just crack the other thing is that it's cracking it's brittle so instead of bending and conforming to the place around it to, to surroundings if necessary uh, it will crack when you have a crack or the fitting loses you know, it cracks at the fitting at the seam now you have an opportunity for roots to come in and uh, you, you, with PVC, you really can't, con you can't just uh, isolate the cracks to the seams uh, where, the, uh, where the joints are uh, because it can happen. It all becomes kind of one piece. Um, it's a little weaker at the joints, but it, will, uh, it can crack at different places. So you can't really protect against root intrusion uh, over the entire pipe. It's in, not practical. Uh, it's, in, it's very expensive. What we prefer is um, double wall corrugated pipe. This is smooth on the inside, almost as smooth as PVC. Uh, it's N12 is what you hear it called, uh, ADS has it called, and that refers to its efficiency rating as far as how much, how fast it moves water. It's very efficient, smooth interior, corrugated outside. It's rigid, so, um, but it's very light. This weighs like a, a fifth of what the PVC weighs. And um, the great thing about this, this is a bell end here, and this has uh, a gasket on each side. At the end of each pipe, we have a gasket. And when we connect the two, there is a, uh, we have to put a, uh, a lubricant in there and fit the gasket in, and that creates a seal. The lubricant itself is waterproof, and the, uh, the rubber is waterproof. Um, and what this allows us to do, while it's rigid right now, over a long run, it has flex. That's very, very important. Um, when it's in the ground and it's installed properly, it's not going to, that, that the crush rating is gonna be just as strong as anything. It's gonna be, it's very, very strong because when it's installed properly, it, the weight is distributed around the entire pipe. It's extremely strong. It's similar to the culvert stuff you see uh, over when you people install uh, culverts under driveways, but it's just smaller. So um, we can point, the, we can fit this together. We also have different means of, of blocking roots and we could talk about that in another video um, that we've developed, but when you have settling, which you will have settling, when you have settling and you get somebody driving over something or you get some shifting and moving over a hundred foot run of pipe, this will give, it will bend. Uh, you can't, I, I can't bend it that well right here in this video. It has a little bit of give with my fingers, but a piece of, a piece of this pipe can give way. And at the joint, it'll give, it'll, it'll bend, it won't break. Water will still flow, flow through, won't leak, it won't allow roots in. Um, it's not going to break and crack uh, along the length of it anywhere, so you can control where the roots are going to try to go in, which will be at the seams. Again, we'll talk about that in another video. Now, lastly, we have our single wall corrugated. Everybody knows this stuff. It gets trashed on. Um, it's still, it's not the best, but at the end of the day, uh, it, it does a good job if it's installed properly. It will, if you install with, like you see this excavator here, um, if you install a nice wide trench and you pack it in, you bed the pipe really well, there's no reason this pipe should fail by crushing. If you have enough, you have six inches of dirt over it, nice and packed, 
uh, you, draw, you, you dig a, um, a trench twice as wide as the pipe itself, um, you're gonna have a long running system. It's downfall, it are the ribs on the inside. Uh, debris does settle in there, you're gonna get stuff from the roof. And uh, with big rains, it will wash through, but over time, you're gonna get some stuff settling and you can get seeds and whatever uh, growing. And that's really its downfall is that it's, uh, it's, it's very flexible, makes it very easy for installation, um, but over time it can clog. So here's the gasket I was telling you about. Um, this is a different brand than ADS. Uh, this is Fratco. Um, their double wall pipe has a red gasket. So you see this plastic gasket right there, or the rubber gasket. This gasket sets in uh, to this bell end right here. Fits in all the way in and it creates a seal. So this is, uh, this is what um, double wall looks like. It's in 20 foot sections. Um, and you can see here, it has some flex. It's not really flexible in the short run, but if you have to get around something, you can. And uh, you don't have to put fittings on, which create risk. Thanks for sticking with us to the end of that video. If you have any thoughts or any things you want to find out or know uh, about drainage, just let us know in the comments and we'll see if we could do a video for it. Uh, if you're in the Charlotte area and you have a drainage project you'd like us to look at, uh, check us out at www.drainmylawn.com and uh, we can talk to you there. You can set up an appointment and we'll just see how we can help you out there. Thanks again.